humanity can no longer reproduce. After years of rebellion, the first fertile woman is found, but it all gets worse as she is a refugee. It is the year 2027, and we are in the United Kingdom. Infertility has affected the human species. Since 18 years, no more children are born. The population mourns the death of baby Diego, the last human being born on the planet, the youngest person in the world, who has become a sort of idol. Diego was killed by a fan because he refused to give him an autograph. Everyone is very sad, except for the man who got his coffee and left the bar, Theo Farron. It was a good idea to get out, because the bar blew up as soon as he walked away. Theo Farron is a former political activist, but now he has a normal job. Once he returned to the office, he saw that everyone, instead of working, was mourning Diego's death. Theo lied to the manager that he was very upset and asked to finish his work at home. On the way, we can see that the train is constantly being attacked by rebels. Outside, however, illegal immigrants are locked up in cages like animals. Every day, more and more people are illegally immigrating to England, as it is one of the few governments still functioning. The problem is that at this point, the army is patrolling the streets looking for these immigrants. Theo is now convinced that this is the end of mankind and enjoys only the moments when he visits his friend Jasper, a former political cartoonist. Jasper is a very friendly guy who often picks Theo up after work. On the way, we can see that immigrants are transported to the camps and buses. Jasper hides from society and lives in the woods, growing cannabis and taking care of his wife. In 2027, marijuana is still illegal, but the government is handing out suicide kits and antidepressant pills. Jasper's wife is a former journalist who has become cataconic due to torture in the past. While smoking some fine weed, Jasper reveals that he has a client who is an immigration cop at the Bexhill camp. Jasper is sure that there is a secret project called the Human Project, which seeks the cure for mankind's infertility. On the other hand, Theo thinks it's all crap. The next day, Theo wakes up in his apartment, and on his way to work, he is kidnapped by the Fishes, a terrorist group that fights for immigrants' rights. The group tells Theo that they won't hurt him, they just want to talk. Theo is liberated, and for the first time in years, he sees the face of his ex-wife, Julian. The Fishes' leader, Julian, asks her ex-husband to get a pass for a special immigrant, Key. Julian offers him 5,000 pounds, but Theo is still not convinced and is tied up and taken back to the van. In the car, one of the group members leaves them a paper sign in case he changes his mind. After that, Theo is released with some change for a bus ticket. You don't flush 5,000 pounds down the toilet. So Theo changed his mind and decided to procure that pass. Theo asks for help from his cousin Nigel, who runs the Ark of the Arts, where art assets are stored, to save them from the war outside. Theo lied and said that the pass was for his girlfriend, who had to visit her sick brother in Brighton. Nigel said that he'll do whatever it takes, although the inspections during this period were much stricter. Theo met with the Fishes member, Luke, to confirm that he had procured the pass. The only problem was that he had to escort the girl, otherwise the document would be worthless. So Theo asked for an extra £2,000. Luke accepted and left. The next day, Theo had to meet with Julian to hand her the papers. They start talking about their past and end up arguing by talking about the passing of their son. When they got to the bus stop, Theo wondered why she asked him for help if she could ask anyone else. Julian said that she trusts him. After a hundred yards, Luke was waiting for them with a the car. Theo, after he took the money, got into the car and met Key, the girl he will escort. Luke headed to the first checkpoint in Canterbury. After that, Theo will have to escort the girl alone. On the way, while they were playing, a crowd of rebels began to attack the car. Luke started to go back, but they were followed by a motocross. One of them shot at Julian, hitting her in the throat. As they approached the car, Theo hit the car door, pushing the two rebels off the motorcycle. As Luke continued to drive away, Theo desperately tried to cover Julian's serious injury. On the way, the car is stopped by two police officers. Luke knew he couldn't get away with a dead body in the car and killed the two cops. They stopped in a forest, and Miriam performed some sort of ritual. Theo looked at her as if she was crazy and walked away to drink his whiskey. He lit a cigarette and burst into tears. Luke arrived in another car, and the group headed to one of the fish's houses. At this point of the mission, Theo asked for a ride to London, but it was too dangerous. Theo is warmly welcomed. He is given clean clothes, after which he is called by Miriam while being constantly watched by someone. Theo is taken to a barn, where he is left alone with Key. Julian told Key that if anything went wrong, she should trust only Theo. The plan was to take Key on a boat called The Tomorrow. Theo refused to help her, but was speechless when Key showed that she was pregnant. It was literally a miracle, as, after 18 years, there was finally a fertile woman. Immediately after, Luke, now the new leader of the crew, entered the barn and brought Theo back into the house. 
television channels announced the death of the former leader of the Fishes, Julian. After the body was found, the investigation of the other members of the group began, so they had to hurry. A debate began about what they should do with Key's baby. One side wanted Key to stay and give birth in the house, while the other side thought it was better to take Key to the secret human project. Theo thinks Key needs to get out of here and get some help from Specialist. At night, he got up hearing the sound of a motocross bike. He realized it was the black motocross they had encountered the day before. He went outside and realized that yesterday's ambush was set up by Luke to become the new leader. Key's baby will be used as a tool for the rebellion, and eventually, Theo will be killed. Theo didn't wait for a second longer and immediately woke up Mirian and Key. He warned them that they were in serious trouble and began to run away. Outside, Theo pulled out the distributor cap, disabling two of the cars. He got Mirian and Key into the car, but couldn't start it. The battery was dead, and Theo began to push the car. From behind, Luke was running towards them. No one was allowed to shoot since Key was in the car. The car picked up speed on the downhill slope, but still, it stopped again. Theo began to push it as the group was approaching. The fastest of them managed to get closer and pointed the gun at Theo, but he didn't have permission to shoot. The guy made the same mistake for the second time and fell down after Theo pushed the door. After the downhill, the car stopped again and Miriam managed to start it while Theo was pushing it. Theo decided to take Key and Miriam to his friend Jasper, apparently a safe place as it was far from civilization. Theo entered the house and found Jasper and his wife lying on their chairs. At first, he thought they were dead, but Jasper was only sleeping. Theo introduced the two women, and Jasper warmly welcomes them, feeding them and giving advice. Later, Key told Theo that when her belly began to grow, she didn't know she was really pregnant. Now she is eight months pregnant and still does not know the gender of the baby. Key shared that during the first few months, she felt very sick and wanted to use the suicide kit, but then she felt the baby push. Later, Jasper arrived with good news. Theo along with the two girls will be arrested. Literally, an immigration cop, also a client of Jasper's, will arrest Theo with the girls to take them to Bexhill camp, then eventually will take them to the boat. Not a single moment of peace for our little group. The next morning, the fishes managed to find them, and the emergency alarm that Jasper had set up sounded. Jasper gave all the necessary instructions and decided to stay. He will sacrifice himself, wasting the fish's time. Theo stopped shortly after to observe the proceedings. The fishes discovered that Theo headed for Bexhill. Then, Luke shot Jasper to death. Heartbroken, Theo got into the car and started their trip. They arrived at the meeting point, and while they were waiting for the cop, Miriam told Theo that she used to be a midwife. A little later, their man arrived, and after the magic words, he picked them up and they headed off to Bexhill. The guy speaks in the third person and doesn't understand why they want to enter the Bexhill camp if people usually run away from that place. Once they arrived at Bexhill, the man told them that they'll meet a gypsy woman named Marichka who will help them. After that, they enter the bus full of refugees. On the way, Key began to have her first contractions, and Miriam suggested that she continue to breathe vigorously. The contractions got worse, and eventually, her water broke. They arrived at a point where refugees were being executed. A guard entered the bus and immediately noticed Key. Miriam stood up and began distracting him by acting like a religious maniac. The guard hit her violently and then pushed her off the bus. He was about to take Key too, but Theo showed Key's water, saying it was urine. The guard, disgusted, left Key alone and got off the bus. Next, we can see how Miriam is about to be executed. Arriving in Bexhill, Key and Theo get off the bus and start looking for Marichka, a Romanian woman. The woman was waiting for them along with her dog, after which she took him to a place where they can rest for the night. But no rest for them, because Key is giving birth to a baby. Theo wiped his hands and guided Key, after which a healthy baby girl finally came out. In the morning, Marichka arrived with the immigration cop who will take them to the boat. The guy noticed the baby's head and promised to take them to the boat, but the Romanian woman started saying that he was a bad man and they shouldn't trust him. The man pulled out his gun and revealed that there was a bounty on their heads. Leaving the room, Marichka pushed the man down the stairs and Theo started to hold him, after which Marichka repeatedly hit him with a stick. As they were leaving, the man was reloading his gun, but in the end, he missed Theo. Once he was out, Theo waited for the guy outside the door. As soon as he stuck his head out, Theo hit him in the face with a battery. A little further away, Theo drew a boat on the wall. 
After which, Marichka realized what they needed and guided them. She took them to a building and showed the baby to the owner. Impressed, he let Theo in with the two women. They are taken to a very cozy apartment where they are fed. The old woman is singing a ditty in Russian. A Georgian guy told Theo that the boat will arrive in an hour and they have to hurry up. They put Key in a wheelchair with the baby hidden away and left. A little later, the group was stopped by Luke along with some other fishes. Luke ordered to take Key away and kill Theo. Suddenly, military forces start shooting at them. After that, Theo and Marichka start to run away. Theo, by a miracle, managed to dodge many bullets and approaches the building where Key was taken. Theo went inside and he began to hear the baby crying. He took Key away with the baby, after which Luke is killed by shelling. Everyone began to hear the baby's cry and made way for Theo and Key. Even the soldiers remained motionless, while Theo and Key walked between them in a deadly silence, where only the baby's cry could be heard. All the soldiers outside remained petrified, but they resumed firing shortly thereafter. A few meters further on, Marichka was waiting for them, after which she took them to the boat. Marichka did not go up with them and pushed the boat, wishing them good luck. Theo started to row towards the boat that should take them in. Unfortunately, Theo was shot, and as he was about to die, he taught Key how to make the baby burp. Shortly afterward, the boat The Tomorrow showed up and was supposed to help Key and Theo. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then find out what happens if you take all the money away from the spoiled children of a billionaire.